Hey girls, welcome back to Heatherly Hearts, and I have something really special to tell you about. Um, first of all, this is a tutorial. It's doing the blue and purple eye look from my IT Cosmetics 12 Luxe Waterproof High Performance Eyeshadows with Age, Reverse, and Prevent Complex. It's a long name. It's this black palette I've been telling y'all about that made my favorites. I cut out the name because it was on the boxing. That doesn't come like that. But it's this palette, okay? I do want to tell you something special. Right now, um, through November 25th, um, IT Cosmetics at ITCosmetics.com, that website is offering 25% off uh, with their code FRIENDS, all caps, 2013. Just go to their website. Their homepage has it. Also, it's free shipping for $25 and over. So this palette is usually $38, but you can get it for 25% off. So that puts it down like $28 with no with free shipping. That is a steal, girl. Okay, girl, so this is the look I came up with today. I was wearing it in my monthly empties and favorites for October um, with false lashes. It just it gets some oomph with false lashes. But today, I'm just going out to the grocery store. It's already dark enough. The look, it's kind of sultry for daytime here. But I'm just going to, like, get pet food and go to the grocery store. So I decided not to do false lashes. But should you decide to do false lashes, it's going to be, like, a holiday look, okay? So this is the look. Let me get close so you can see if you're interested. Okay, girls, if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, girls, let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay. I already primed my eye. You can use any eye primer that you want. I would suggest like a color canceling eye primer if you have a lot of um, veining or redness on your eye, just so the colors um, are more true to color. We're going to start with Earth Angel. And this palette doesn't have the colors in it. I had to cut it off the box. You know, I already showed you that. So, but this is Earth Angel. It's a beautiful matte mid-tone brown. So we're going to start putting that with a fluffy crease brush. Okay. Um... You can also use a blue base if you have that electric blue uh, or any of the color tattoos or paint lorry, paint, pot, paint, lorry, paint pots by MAC that are blue. I'm choosing not to today just because it's dark enough. Um, okay, so then I'm going to take a flat brush. This is just one by e.l.f. And I'm going to get a tissue because I don't want there to be any fallout. I've already done my foundation. And I'm going to put it up here and get the Azure, which is this beautiful blue color in this palette. Get it loaded up on my brush and start packing it on. The, just the lid. So there that is. And then to give it even more color, I am going to go in with my finger and pat more blue on. You'll see me do this throughout the tutorial. Okay, so now we have the blue pretty much in place where we want it. Then we're going to go in with a, this is the Mally crease brush. There's a more dense end and a more fluffy end. We're going to start with the um, more dense end and we're going to go into this matte purple, plum purple. Uh, it's called Plum Passion, I'm sorry. And we're going to start creating an outer V. So again, you place the color where you want it up into the crease and create a V. See that? I just created a V shape. Then I'm going to turn it over for a, cre a fluffier crease brush and start building up the color. So then you just go back in, and I'm not going to put any more product on this product on this crease brush, this MAC brush, and I'm just going to blend. Just lightly blend it. I'm not pushing very hard. I'm just blending it, okay? Okay. I'm going to go back in with my finger in that blue azure color and put some more of it on my lid. Okay. Then I'm going to go into Satin Sunshine, which is this beautiful kind of yellowy pearlized color. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to use that on my inner... Um, tear duct. Kind of into this look, just so there's no darkness in that corner. Okay. If you want it to be really smoky, don't add this step. Just add darkness into that corner. Then I'm going to go in with a fluffy kind of flat shader brush. These are what I prefer to do my brow bone with. And I'm going to go into this matte cream color called Cashmere. And just start. Kind of get in this inner corner and start blending it. Okay. So that's the color. And you can see that we have a little bit of fallout under here. We're, um, we're going to fix that after we do our under eye because some of that will be taken away. Okay, then you need to get a blue, purple, whatever color you like that you have that goes into your waterline. This is the color 
Mainline by Urban Decay. I've talked about it before. I love it. It's um, a blue color. And I'm going to go into my waterline. Hopefully I'm in frame and I'm not. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Then you're going to go in with a kind of a push brush. They're just a flat brush. And you're going to push the blue as your um, um, eyeshadow from the palette that you put on the lid. And you're going to just push that into your lash line. Then with the pencil brush, you're going to go in and kind of smoke it out with the pl Plum Passion. And meet up out here. Okay. Okay, so at this point, we're going to do our eyeliner. Um, first, I'm going to go in with a baby wipe or a makeup wipe and kind of clean up this edge just a tiny bit. Okay, because I want it to be more precise like the other one. Okay? That's why you should save your under eye concealer, especially to the end, okay? Because then you can clean up under here, do your concealer, and do your powdering. Okay. So now we're going to go in with a thick line like that. And I'm going to take this Eye Booster 2-in-1 Physicians Formula in Ultra Black. It's thick like this. And I've showed you this before. I'm going to show you it again. You just lay it down. And this time I'm doing a little bit of a heavier wing. So I'm going to lay it down, you know, farther back on my eye. Okay. Then you turn it around and just write with it and stamp it. Now I'm going to go and do, I decided not to use false lashes in the other look that I had that everybody asked me to do. I had on false lashes, but girls, I'm just going to the grocery store and to go to the pet food store and things like that. This is already a dramatic enough look for that. So I'm just going to use, I'm not going to use false lashes, but this look really looks good with false lashes. Um, so if you want to use them at this point, go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready for the day, do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back to show y'all the final look. Okay, girl. Girl. Hey, girl. Okay, girls, I've done the rest of my face. Um, and I just went with like a pink cheek. Um, a bronzy contour and a pink lip. It's one of my favorites. Oldie but a goodie. It's 108 Gilded Pink by L'Oreal. You can tell how much love this has gotten. It is a nude, but it's a pinky nude. So I thought with the purples and blues that pink would be very appropriate. Okay, girls. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're interested in this or any cosmetics, it cosmetics that you've been wanting to try, right now through November 25th, they're having 25% off site-wide at itcosmetics.com. Free shipping over $25. So if you're thinking about picking up anything in the line, this is the time to do it. Okay, girls. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's like a huge pat on the back, and it lets me know you like what you see. And you want to come back and see more. Thank you for watching. Good luck shopping. And I hope that your day is filled with only the beautiful things. Thank you, girls. Bye.